moments away here at Dignity Health Sports Park from kicking off the men's Omega Cup final out on the field here as we take a look at all of these teams getting warmed up in this one. We've got some incredible talent on display. Here's the roster for Crush, and uh, this is a team that we saw most of these guys. Remember last time we were together, Ricky, out in South Carolina. They've got a lot of talent and a lot of ex-college players. And they know how to play, and they're going to bring the energy. You're looking at Cameron Steele, who is the heartbeat of this team. He's going to be the one that brings the intensity. He's going to be yelling. He's going to want to get in. And Orange Crush obviously came in second in their game, so they have a point out to prove here tonight. You always want to have a good keeper, and certainly Kenneth Perkinson is that guy. As we move over to Drift, this is a crop of players that were in the very first Omega ball event here in Southern California down in Irvine. They know how to play this game as well. And they do know how to play. You have some players that were also in South Carolina that lost to Orange That's Crush. true. It's going to be a bit of a revenge factor as well. So there's so much to play out. You're looking at a player like Jake Corona, Herman Alfaro, players that have the skill to win this game. And if you're going to look at maybe the X factor here, it's this group, Smoke, in the white jerseys. They're probably the veteran team, if you will, but a ton of experience and actually a very technical team. Very technical. You're going to see a lot of express and skills, step over, combination play. This team won their game last time in qualifiers. So are they going to stay the same game plan or are they going to change? It's going to be a big question. Three teams vying to become the 2022 Omega Ball Cup champion between Drift, Crush, and Smoke. It's a quick game, fast, lots of goals, big saves. And of course, uh, a nice little check yep, to the team that go. comes away as the winner here tonight as well. And when you, when you have that check at the end of the thing, it's just gonna up the tempo, up the competitiveness. So it's gonna be very exciting to see how it all plays out. White will start, and you can see from the position that they are in right there, it's only about 30 yards out, you feel free to whip one in right away off of the kick if you want to. It will start with White and they will start in possession. Oh, immediately a chance. I like that. A little, almost a little restart a la futsal indoor right there, faking in one direction and going the other. And it was Mo Ali with the strike from distance and you know, already when a striker is pulling the trigger from distance, you're going to see the confidence starting to grow, and he is a special player for Smoke. Immediately back the other way, and a chance there for Crush, looking for their first opportunity. Ball will start in the hands of Smoke goalkeeper, Brian Orozco. Smoke actually uh, qualified yesterday with a different guy in between the pipes, but Orozco stepping in to try and help them win the cup here tonight. Great long ball over the top, if there is such a thing in Omega Ball. <laughs> Chance out in front, and the shot will go just wide. Coming off of the right foot of Chase Rohde. You're just looking at the shape of white smoke. They're playing a 2-2. Players spreading out, having that space in between the players. And you look at Orange Crush as a player that's sitting in the middle of the field. So two different kind of game plans already we see in the first couple of minutes here. Caught out for a moment. Oh, and that'll go just wide. Kenneth Perkinson trying to call his own number there after making the save, and that's how quickly it can go from end to end. Here come Drift, looking inside for the first chance as we're scoreless in the opening minute and a half here at Dignity Health Sports Park. Watch your right, watch your right, watch your right, watch your right. Back forward. Drift will settle here. Goalkeeper Brandon Gomez. Up and over the top. Oh, and a good save coming to cut down the angle there was Brian Orozco. Had to be immediately out to the top of his area. Mo Alley back across the face of goal onto the back post, and that one will go out of play. Should be a restart here for Crush, and it will be. And you're ready to see Brian Orozco coming in to smoke the ability that he has with his feet. So it's going to give a lot of freedom to those players to run in to test the goalkeepers. He's been a special player so far. Onto the back post now here for Crush. Headed across. Orozco makes the save. And a chance in front is put away by Drift. Alfaro was there. And that's the beauty of Omega Ball right there, right? One chance for one team, it bounces down. It's not exactly a true vulture chance because it's not stealing from the weak side, but it is a, a capitalizing on opportunity and a loose ball. What's it saying? You hang around a barbershop long enough, you're going to get a haircut. <laughs> anyway, that goal, good things happen. Morero with 
with a look there with the right foot from just outside the area. It's deflected out by Crush. So the first goal here in our 2022 Omega Cup, tallied by Drift. The direct effort there. That's interesting. We see the goalkeeper, Brian Orozco, having this corner kick. And yes, from this, you can score a goal directly. Trying to switch directions quickly, and Orozco able to shuffle all the way back to get to it inside the area. Quick distribution back out the other way and pushed out of play. Chase Rohde back there just to send it out. Free kick from the dot now here for Smoke. Gomez. Good early touch there, but also good defending by Smoke. That way, that way, yes. Blue corner, blue corner, we're good. Blue corner, side, side. Brian Jordan closest there for Smoke, trying to defend. Instead, it's going to be a free kick here. Alfaro elects to go back the other way. Pretty harmless, though, Ricky, in the end. And now it's Crush on the attack. Cutting inside, Crush with a chance to get there first. Oh, and a wonder strike. Not power, but certainly precision from Dominic Jensen. And he's a player that can create something out of nothing. The ability to beat players 1v1 as he takes a bit of pressure. Nice little reverse into the back of the net to get Orange Crush on the, on the score sheet. Physical on the challenge here. And Crush winning again. That one bangs off of the near post. And out for a restart here for Smoke. O'Brien. Distant. And that one well wide of the target. No trouble at all there for Perkinson and goal. Quickly back out on the attack now is Crush. Nothing doing as they looked at the smoke goal, so why not change directions and have a look on drift? All good use of the space. Back inside. Maybe the longest string of possession we've seen so far here tonight. Just getting started here in this opening 13 minute first period. Oh, a big save there from Perkinson. Not sure he knew much about it, Ricky, but it ended up right there on his foot. But you just see how quickly you can turn your defensive efforts into attacking opportunities. Great ball out from Yuri into Mo Ali, but what a save that is from Perkinson. It's also interesting to watch as we progress through this men's championship cup, how quickly teams look to make decisions. It's a big save there for Roscoe in terms of bringing on fresh legs. Exactly. You have to be so decisive in so many different ways. Your substitutions need to bring on energy, skill, creativity, but also how clean are you with the ball to get players out of position and counterattack and be very explosive in that situation. Prado had to quickly shuffle back after he took an opportunity on goal. One corner, one corner. They're going to give it to White here. Here's Moali. Ball deflected out. Look how quickly things go back the other direction. Oh, looking to beat it the near post off the left foot of Alfaro. And again, Orozco up to the task. Little skill check right there. All oh, across to the far side, and that one will go out. Alfaro's been very active already on this left side. For I like it. He's been really good 1v1. Let's get a lot of questions to Smoke. Okay, for the upper corner and the right foot of Chase Rohde. Can't connect. It goes just over the top of the crossbar. Drift in blue. We'll put it back in play. Trying to slow the pace just a little bit here. This is William Prado. Safety valve back for Brandon Gomez. O'Brien. Looked like they were gonna try and attack on the crush goal, instead switching directions and now right back into things. Prado onto his left foot. O'Brien, first time on the hit, but it swerves wide of the post. I really like that string of possession from Drift. Very patient and deliberate in the way that they're trying to attack. That one will go out. You can see already teams adjusting in terms of 
showing like they're going to be attacking in one direction and then a pivot to go back the other way and see if you can find a little more space on that other team's goal. Big save goes off the both in front and a chance to finish. And it is. Jensen on the backside. And all of a sudden, it's Crush who have found the net twice. Once again, just putting yourself in a dangerous situation. Good things happen. Goal scorers, get yourself in and around that 18 yard box, and the ball pops out. Just stick it into the back of the net. Well done from Dominic Jensen to be in a good, dangerous situation for Crush. Drift will use their goalkeeper, Gomez. And that's another X factor too, Ricky, in the sense that how much do you trust your goalkeeper to play into his feet in tight space? Do you, do you feel comfortable with him coming outside the area? Move along to the left foot there from Cameron Steele. The goalkeepers are just so important in Omega Ball. The ability to dictate tempo, to score goals, to really kickstart, I want to say counterattacks. I mean, go different ways. Such a big part, good opportunity here. Win on one side and a finish with the right foot from Steele. After Drift got the first one here in our opening period of play, it is three in terms of a response coming from Crush. Again, again, right on, right on. And you see the energy that Cameron Steele brings, the quality as well. Beats his man, beats the goalkeeper, Crush three goals in the first period. Outside the area, swerving shot, had plenty of movement on it. Perkinson stayed home and made sure he just parried it away. And now the crush keeper will start things going forward. That's exactly what we talked about, Mark. Obviously, in the first period, feeling each other out, seeing the strategy, who's maybe the weaker team, which goal are we going to go. That's why you're going to start to see more. Bad turnover there. Bad turnover. Can Perkinson come up with the save? Out in front. And great tracking back defensively there for Crush to make sure it wasn't a wide open chance. But that's a good look for Drift who are still looking for their first goal of the night with just under three minutes to play in this first period. And it's a good opportunity for Prado. I think if he goes through their power, has more of success, tries to go up and over with too much weight on that. Good step in to win it there for Jason McCartney. Now on his right foot, looking for the far post. And he finds it. Great goal, great goal. That's the only place that he can put it. Just kisses it off that far post. Crush 4-1 in this first period. I'll tell you what, Ricky, uh, we both said which two teams might come together to try and really attack the other. I feel like it's Crush saying, we'll just do it on our own. We'll find the best attacking chance and score to the tune of four goals so far. We just talked about the revenge factor. Obviously, didn't take kindly to finishing second in their game, making a statement here in period one. Trying to jar my memory, but it was a last second winner, yep. I do recall. Just out of the reach there of Cameron Steele. He was certainly part of things in South Carolina for Crush to win on that afternoon. That ball will stay in. It does just stay in, but the shot right into the gloves of Perkinson. Just seems like Smoke is just sitting back a bit too much, playing more defensive, absorbing pressure. They have the ability to get in behind to test goalkeepers. So if I'm Smoke after this period, going to the drawing board, we need to be more attacking. Now the conservative approach, I mean, maybe it has something to do with, with fitness in terms of they figure they can turn it on later on in the second and third period, but they're gonna find themselves with a deficit to try and get back. Good save from Orozco again. He's been good for Smoke, but he's been beaten a couple of times as well. And once again, it's Prado on the end of things for Drift. Just missing that clinical touch, but he's getting himself into very good situations. That was uh, Alessandro Canale with the chance in tight in front of the drift net, couldn't finish it. And Orozco down to his left side again to snuff out the chance from Alfaro. Fifty fifty ball, won there by Crush and just touched out by Chase Rohde out of play. Final 30 seconds of this opening period. Come on, 
Prado with the cut inside, but then double teamed defensively by Smoke. Do they have time for one final look? Do they like to get on the board, scoreboard before we hear the horn here? Deflected out in the final 10 seconds here of period number one. And that will do it for our opening period of the 2022 Omega Ball Cup here in Carson, California. Ricky, not how you start it, but how you finish it, right? It's an opening goal from Drift in blue, but then it's four in response from Crush. And in that semifinal yesterday, Crush won the first period, but then they kind of faded out. So now you're looking at Cameron Seed, you're looking at Kenneth Perkinson, and they're going to say, look, we're not doing the same mistake. The same thing's not going to happen. But if you're, you're smoke, you need to get going. You need to get your players in advanced positions, uh, getting goals. So it's going to be a very interesting period to see what's coming up right now. So through 13 minutes here on a gorgeous evening in Southern California, Crush have found the back of the net four times, but it was Drift who actually got on the board first and it's 4-1-0 after the first period of play. Here's how it all went down. And Keiichi just joined in. He certainly missed plenty. That was Alfaro with the first opening chance, but then a great response coming from Crush. And then it all was all crushed. And there's Jensen getting in between lines, making, creating something out of nothing. And it's such a hard goal to defend. One, you're going one way to put it back the other way. But then it really started to see the experience from Orange Crush taking players off, good saves here. Jensen once again in a good dangerous situation, easy tap in. This is one of my favorite goals here from Cameron Steele. Able to pick it off, turn defense into offense, and it's been all going crush, another clinical finish, and they're the winners of period one, but two more periods left in this Omega Ball Men's Cup Championship. That was uh, Jason McCartney with that final tally right there, finishing it to make it uh, four for Crush in that opening period. What's the discussion like? You've played this game. What's the discussion like now that you have gotten out in front if you're Orange Crush and heading into that second period? Well, you can go two ways. You sit back, you defend, but I think if this is Omega Ball, you want to score goals, you want to be excited, you want to get on the offensive phase. So keep pushing the envelope, keep asking questions, keep scoring goals for Orange Crush. You look at McCartney, you look at Jensen, you're looking at Cameron Steele. Those players have the ability, they've shown the ability to score goals. But I'm looking at Drift, I'm looking at Smoke, unable to really get in the rhythm. Those two play, those teams, they have the ability, they have the talent, they need to get going. Still trying to figure out what a mega ball exactly is? Don't worry, we've got the answers. Chaotic? Oh, no, it's, no, 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 go back it's, it's great. <laughs> What do I love about Omega Ball? It's just the ability to poach and being able to take opportunities from guys trying to score on the other opponent's goal. If it came to you, you're able to tap it in and you get all the glory without doing any of the work. I love that there's no size. I'm looking forward to enhancing a new side of my game and seeing what I got. More pace, more action, more scoring. I think everybody who watches football loves to see goals. I think that's the main part, the main attraction is what people come to see. Omega Ball brings that all together and really emphasizes that part of the beautiful game. Honestly, it's just really chaotic. It's super fun. It makes the game faster for those people who aren't as interested in a slower two to one score game you know they're scoring every two seconds so it really brings the game to the American public in a fun way. Having that extra team brought a new aspect where you may have an alliance you may have an enemy there's two opponents and you know alliances have the potential of being formed. It's nice because the space is pretty close so you always get a chance on goal and there's a lot of opportunities to finish. I love scoring them two goals more than one. Lots and lots of goals more action more scoring. In addition to that tactical insight for you from some of the players that have experienced Omega Ball, like my partner, Ricky Lopez Espin, here's some of the timing and what you need to know when following along with us tonight here on Omega Ball's YouTube page. Three periods times 13 minutes each with a five minute break in between the first and second period. Of course, Ricky, free flowing, right? That's the big theme of this is it's free flowing and you've got to be ready to play defense and offense at a moment's notice. And you have to be turned on at every time mentally how good can you be to turn your defense into offense to go one way to switch a point of attack? But I want to talk about the PK shootout. That's going to be very interesting if we go to a tie, a land run. So who's going to be the most decisive? Who's going to be the most clinical? Getting ready for the uh, second period of action here. And this time it'll be, remember the teams uh, rotate clockwise. So each team moving over a goal to their left, so to speak. And it was Smoke who kicked off the first period, and that means that now Drift will kick off this period, and of course that leaves Crush, who currently lead 4-1-0.
to kick off what will be the third and final period. Let's see how Drift handle things. They immediately go for the target, and Orozco again up to the task. He's been tested more than any keeper so far here in this cup final. And it's a fantastic strike here from Kyle O'Brien, asking all sorts of questions from Orozco, but he's been fantastic, like you just said, Mark, with his feet. Massive save once again for Smoke. That leads to the free kick chance right there, and there's another one for Drift. Alfaro from distance curling it in from that almost corner spot. Such a hard technique. The angle as he goes again, that left foot of his off the post. Still alive here, Alfaro one more time, deflected in another save from Orozco. Smoke in essence just clearing that one out of the danger zone. You know, Alfaro has been terrific for Drift. That left foot, how much power he gets generated behind a shot, just so unlucky. Orozco looking for the distribution. He finds over the top Moali. Couldn't hang on to possession and it comes back into the gloves of Perkinson. Out in front, deflected ball, crush motioning that it should actually be a free kick for them and they will get that decision. And look at these two players on the back post. Headed down, but right into the gloves of Orozco, calling his own number. It's going to take a really specific effort, though, for a goalkeeper right there, right, Rick? If he's going to really half volley one from that type of distance. But he has that out in his locker. We've seen it. Not scared to show off that technique on that sidewinder. Great ball. Ball back inside. Right foot there for McCartney. Couldn't quite wrap his foot around it to get it on frame. Long distance effort back there from Brandon Gomez. Misses about 10 yards wide of the crush goal. But just a couple of minutes into the second period, Drift have been able to pull one back, see if Crush has a response. Off and running is Prado. Big save again from Orozco, has to dive down. Did he keep it in play? A referee right on top of things right there. It's a corner, it's a blue corner. But once again, it's Jensen trying to find that cherry picking goal, getting himself in around that penalty arc. Orozco is there to save the day once again for Smoke. And here comes Drift. Crush trying to put together a sequence here. But these are situations when Smoke is able to get a, a good save or force a turnover, you have to press the envelope, you have to go extremely quick and you have to be very clean in the way that you do, very decisive. Smoke to have the talent but unable to get in the rhythm so far once again in the second period. We haven't seen it so much here tonight, but goals usually come in bunches, and that is one right there. The ball sneaks through for Jason McCartney, and he does the rest. Back the other way, and a long-distance chance goes right into the back of the net over the head of Orozco. And now you're starting to see players express themselves taking the chances, taking those opportunities. Two clinical finishes we've seen, one from Crush and one from Drift. Alfaro likes to get onto that left foot. He's already scored twice tonight for Drift. Need a cleaner touch there. If you're Yuri, excuse me, Sandro Canali. Steal. Defended by both Drift and Smoke there and gets the benefit of a whistle. And this will be the first interior free kick opportunity we've seen for any team tonight. And these are going to be very interesting. You go towards the goal everyone thinks you are. You're looking at a player like Chase Rody, look at him peeling off, going the other way, making a run. Looks like Cameron Steele is going to try his luck. He does, and a good save going down to his right from Brandon Gomez, but it'll stay here in this corner, quote unquote. Remember that goal just a moment ago, that's how quick they come. If you're a goalkeeper playing in and around your arc, you need to stay home. It's so quick, so many goals, so many chances. Asking for McCartney to send it over. Instead, he looks for his own number, but the left foot goes up and over the top of the bar. Drift have found the net twice here in this second period. Crush have added one to their leading tally of four after the first 13 minutes. Smoke still with the zero, Ricky. 
Remember, that's the veteran team, right? A, lot, a ton of experience, but older legs out on the field for Team Smoke and White. I have to give your smoke. You have to play through Frank. Tell you the ability that he has to pin players up, to pull players into the game. He needs to get more vocal and get more involved for Smoke going forward. Big target too, right? I mean, he's got he's got he's got a big body. Exactly. And it's a luxury to have. You require so much attention. The ability to dish it off is going to be key to success for Smoke to get back into this game. That was Tayu with the touch right here. He'll get a chance right now, cutting in on his left foot and deflected away. Some contact inside the area is going to give Crush a free kick just inside the half circle. Chase under a bit of pressure plays back here for Perkinson. Tayu intercepting in the passing lane. Now which way does he go? Trying to be unselfish, but Drift will take advantage. And there's a chance for Crush, and they touch one home. And once again, it's Jensen finding yep. himself in and around that 18-yard box. That penalty spark gives me such an easy goal, but such a smart goal as well. Really talk about being right place, right time. You thought it was Drift who was on the attack. All of a sudden, the ball just drift all the way through to the back post. He's there to tap it in. No point in sending, right? <laughs> Maybe it was. <laughs> About at the midway point of the 2022 Men's Omega Ball Cup final here in Southern California. Here's Tayu, good collection. What can he do with it? Has to play it back to his goalkeeper. Good skill to get out of pressure there from Orozco. And now a chance here for Smoke, still denied. Still with the goose egg out there as Rivas couldn't bring it under control. Headed away and now a chance to counter here. Steele plays it forward. Garcia couldn't hang on to the possession. And once again, it's Smoke getting himself into a very good position, but just unable to find that finishing touch. That ball that goes across, it gets cut out. He's lacking that last bit of quality so far in this match. Smoke is. Tayu, nice step over onto his left foot. Unselfish to play it in. First touch a little bit heavy, deflected away. Tayu's still on it. Can he bang it in? Look at the defensive effort there from Drift. And once again, unable to find that finishing touch of smoke. Tayu. Just can't buy one right now, Ricky. Taking advantage of opportunities. That seems to be part of the mantra for Crush in Orange as they lead with he six goes, goals he here goes in this cup final. Ball just stays in play here for Smoke. Moali trying to turn the corner. Long distance shot, and that'll go wide, coming off of the right foot of Moreira. And when you play in a championship match, it doesn't need to be pretty, you just need to be clinical. Right? You need to get numbers on the score sheet. You need to, when you have a chance, take it. Don't, need to, don't think twice, don't need a second invitation. So far, Orange Crush has been the better of that. Well, the second invitations have been going to another team most, yep. of the, most of the night so far. Just when you think one team is on the attack and about to capitalize, it's another team. And the beauty of Omega Ball coming in to swipe that opportunity. It's very interesting. We're seeing Smoke just only attack Drift's goal, unable to be able to put their foot on the mid, turn it, and go towards this crush goal. So something to keep an eye out on if you're Kenneth Perkinson to be tuned in the whole time because they can go either way. Having been, been in the thick of it here, my partner Ricky Lopez Espin, what, what, what kind of sense do you make out of it? They, they're choosing to only attack on one of their opponents, not necessarily both. Well, it's, it tells me one that Crush is very good defensively. They say, look, we, there's no way we can get into these guys. You can just see how they're setting up three players behind one. And they're always asking questions of Drift, but to be fair to Drift, they've had an answer for everything asked of them. Drift currently with two goals here in this second period as we've got just about three and a half minutes left here in this second period of play. Crush would love to add another one here. Oh, there's the first one for Smoke. It's Moali who steps in and finds it. And they needed that. Maybe that'll be 
popping the top off of the bottle, and maybe we'll see a few more before we end this second period from them. And once again, he's just finding himself in a dangerous situation. Just smashes it into the back of the net, but we'll see if that kick starts. Smoke, just like you said, Mark, they need to get going. We'll see only under three minutes left in period two. And he starts scoring goals, and he's starting express, expressing yourself in the attacking phase of this game. Steele trying to slip one through, stepping out to get the gloves on it is Brandon Gomez. Drift will attack onto the smoke goal. Good overlapping run, but Orozco up to the save. As Alfaro was looking for another one, he's already found the net a couple of times here tonight. He's been probably the brightest attacking player for Drift, that left foot, the quality that he has. Crush come away with it. Steel spinning like a top right at the top of that half circle. Cross in onto the back post. Headed back across, but in the air long enough that uh, Gomez is able to shuffle over and get to it. You can just see what Crush is trying to do. Change the point of attack, make defenders shift over. And when they have an opportunity, very explosive in the way that they penetrate the opposition. Did you see that right there, Ricky? We haven't seen that too often. The goalkeeper, Brandon Brian Orozco, coming out of his area to head it out. There you go. Anything goes in a mango. That's right. <laughs> Final 90 seconds of this second period that has seen each team find the back of one of their opponent's net. Good distribution. Alfaro cutting onto the right foot, a chance for another. Oh, and it goes just wide. Good idea there from Alfaro, but it's such a hard technique. When your body position is going the other way, to have that reverse just pulls it. But once again, he is the one asking the most questions on Team Drift. Everyone inside of the stadium here knew that he liked that ball on the yep. left foot, so a wise decision to try and drag it across to his right. Routine save out of the air for Brandon Gomez, the 26-year-old keeper for Drift. As we're inside of the final minute of period number two. And Ricky, if, if Smoke could somehow find one more right here before we hear the horn to close out the period, that puts them really right back in it. That should be a free kick for Drift in blue. And it will be. Out of his area is Gomez. Scrambling back. Long distance effort from Perkinson. If you're crushed, that's, that's okay. You don't need to get the ball away from your goal. You're up in period two, and that's how it ends. So we'll see. All for the marbles now in period three. A little bit of the almost, uh, I don't want to, dare I say, time-wasting <laughs> tactic, but you're, you're okay if the ball is not in play for those final few seconds, especially exactly. when you have the lead. So Crush find the back of the net twice there in that second period. A couple of goals from Drift to put them on three through 26 minutes of this Omega Ball Cup. And finally, off the snide smoke, find one through Mo Ali. That is where things stand as we head toward what should be a fantastic third period here in Southern California. 6-3-1 the score so far. Hey, it, it's still anyone's game. If one of those two teams, Ricky Drift or Smoke, can get something going here as we take a look at some highlights from that second period, and it started with that save. And he's been terrific. The goalkeeper for Smoke, Orozco, so good with his feet, really putting himself into dangerous situations. But once again, it's all about Crush getting himself into a dangerous situation. That was just terrific, finding the goalkeeper out. But how good can you be in that penalty arc? And so far, once again, it's, it's Crush finding himself into dangerous situations, really cherry picking and being that vulture boy. There was the goal from Moali, uh, the lone strike of the night so far for Smoke, the team in white. You know, it's so interesting too, because as you see Crush going over their, their strategy here for uh, what should be the final 13 minutes of this one. There is their goalkeeper, uh, Kenneth Perkinson. 
And remember, it's a team that finished second yesterday, got through with goal differential, but they've been here before. Last time we were out in South Carolina, they were the team that was hoisting the trophy and collecting the check. And I just keep talking about it, the revenge factor for these boys. You saw the disappointment coming off their field, finishing second in this game. And surprisingly, Smoke won that game. The ability to fight back in the third period as well. So you're seeing Tayu there telling these boys, look, we need to get on the ball a bit more. It was mostly Crush dictating the tempo. Drift was really playing long balls, and Smoke was really getting themselves into the game. They need to get on the ball. They need to express themselves, have that combination, play, pull players out of position, and when you're in front of the goal, put it in the back of the net. The hard part is going to be if you're Smoke, right, with just one goal through 26 minutes so far, as you see them coming together, a bit of solidarity there is you can't really make a mistake. The margin for error here in this final 13 minutes for them, because if they do get stretched out a little too far, they're very vulnerable at the back. Exactly, you just need to be very good in position. And once you get yourself into that goal, how many times have you seen Tayu in around that penalty arc, but unable to find that fit, that perfect shot, maybe a bit too long, it's Omega Ball, express yourself, pull the trigger, ask questions of the opposition goalkeeper and score goals. Crush will have a three goal lead over Drift and a five goal cushion out in front of Smoke. So the team in orange trying once again to crown themselves champions of Omega Ball. They did it back earlier here in 2022. When we were out in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And by the way, don't forget, we have the uh, Women's Omega Ball Cup final coming up a little bit later on here tonight. It's a gorgeous night in Southern California. Temperatures dipping just a little bit. Hit in the 80s earlier today, but the action here at Dignity Health Sports Park has been nothing short of hot as we head toward the third period of play here in this Omega Ball Cup final. On the men's side, Crush with six, Drift with three, and Smoke with one. Alongside our Omega Ball insider, Ricky Lopez Espin. My name is Mark Rogadino. Glad to have you along here tonight. Crush, well, they can do it again here. I think Drift is probably the X factor, Ricky. In a sense, if they can get a couple early here in the third, it's game on. And, and you know who's going to be the one at the thick of everything. It's going to be Alfaro. How good has he been for Drift, that left foot that you've seen asking questions? Well, yeah, we have a nice little VIP section. Come hang out. First time ever that this, uh, this event, if you will, this match has been open to the public. Yeah, I'd like to hang in that VIP area. Maybe we should put our booth down there next time. <laughs> there you go. That'd be the spot to hang out. Comfortable couches, a great view of the circular round pitch here for the men's Omega Ball Cup final. So it will be Crush who will start with the ball as we get into this third and final period. And they will defend that goal on your screen right now to the left-hand side. We've seen a little bit of variety in terms of what teams have done to kick things off in the beginning of each period. Let's see what Crush has in store right here. Just a quick touch off and let one rip and it goes just wide. Just trying to find that far post. Cameron Seal once again just pulls it a bit too far. Here we go, now we see Smoke. The players that they have on the field, Moali, Tayu, Marrera there, Canali, players that are able to score goals, so they need to get going, they need to get going early. That one will miss wide of the Smoke goal. Yeah, I think uh, connecting, right, is probably gonna be a big theme here in this period for Smoke. Can they find the ability to connect and link up plays instead of just really serving it blindly into open space? Gomez caught outside of his area, but he had a defender back there to help out. Drift now trying to figure things out and touched out of play. And those are situations when you're going towards one goal, put your foot on it, go back the other way, change your point of attack, switch the defense, defensive unit. A second one there for Smoke. As wide open in front was Canali. That's a start, at least, for them. Four, three, nothing after 13 minutes. Each team found the back of the net in that second stands. A big save there from Orozco. Now can Smoke get out into the attack? Moali onto his right foot, touch to set it up, but the second touch goes wide. I love that initiative there from Moali. Get the ball out of your feet, pull the trigger. Wide open there chance go. there, and quickly back-to-back -back strikes for Smoke. They're here for it, and they now find themselves with three. You can just see the way they're setting up. One player sitting in front of their goal, and the other three able to roam, see as they see fit. Here's 
Rohde. That one taken away by Drift. Shot deflected away. Cleared out, still in front, loose ball. Alfaro trying to use his body to get to it, he did. And this one will bounce one hop back into the gloves. Smoke goalkeeper Orozco. Tayu, wide for Moali, looking for the near post, but wide. But again, I love this, you're, you're decisive, you're taking the initiative, you know what you want to do. Once you get in around that 18 yard box, pull the trigger. Alfaro trying to collect it, head it away. That one uh, off of the head of Morera. Pass gets through, but the one-touch finish goes wide. The ball actually went out of play, so it'll start into the gloves. Uh, Brian Orozco. Moali one more time, tight space, tight angle as well. Trying to find that far post. Just pulls it a bit too far, Moali does. Great Alfaro on the knockdown, yes it was. Giveaway though, and there's Cameron Steele here for Crush. I, I almost detect Ricky a, a bit more of a con as Tayu steps on it here. Moali looking for the corner, the save though, a, a more conservative approach all of a sudden from Crush. I don't necessarily know that that's the way you want to go about it for 13 whole minutes. Exactly. If, if it's worked, why change it, right? They were so good in period one and period two, but they're uh, just dropping in a bit more, observing more pressure, absorbing much like Smoke did in the first two periods. And now we see Smoke, Moali, Tayu, Canali getting on the ball a bit more. Players that are expressing themselves that had the skill to change this game. Drift stepping in to win one. Alfaro, and he has another. He's come alive here. Herman Alfaro has come alive now here in the later stages of this second and now third period. Here he is again on the ball, turning onto that very strong left foot. Can't get out of traffic with two defenders on him from Crush. And a whistle and a foul. Tempers flaring just a little bit here. Cam Steele in the middle of things, but quickly stepping away as our officials step in to uh, ease the tension for a moment. Hey, these guys know what's at stake. Exactly. Not just bragging rights here in Omega Ball, <laughs> but we've got a check for the winners coming. You see how much it means for them. The culmination of two days here in Southern California. All three of these teams had to qualify here to get to the Championship Cup Final, and there's another one for Smoke. It's game on. And it's a brilliant little combination play between Moali and Yuri Marrera on the side. Once again, clinical finish to pull himself back into this game just by two now. 6-4-4 four, four here in this third and final period. In front, off his line quickly. Orozco there to make sure he got there first. You think legs are getting tired at this point, Ricky, here as we're into this third period? I think 100% for Crush. You see them unable to run out the balls that they can get into, that we saw them getting into in the first two periods. Now Smoke that really has a stamina coming out. Tayu in onto the back post, and Smoke have cut the crush lead to one. They started with just one goal here in this third period. And now they find themselves trailing by one. And once again, you just see the strategy for Smoke, always going towards the drift goal, not against Crush. And that's something we saw in the semifinal mark. It was very it was smoke that started off a bit slower and started to get into the rhythm towards the end. Alfaro, good touch, but smothering it as Perkinson had to go down quickly to intercept. Right into the gloves of Brandon Gomez. Good quick distribution for Drift. Another save from Perkinson. Needed it there. Crush have got to be thinking we'd love to just get one more to restore that two goal cushion here as we're counting down to the final six minutes tonight. And you start to see wide open goal, the long distance chance, a little too much on it. You start to see the fitness come into play, like we just mentioned, Mark. Players unable to close down the space, giving the opposition players about a 
two to five yard radius, and that's all you need in Omega Ball. Pick your head up, see the space, have a chance on, on goal. Headed away by Chase Rohde, 26 year old. Moali leaves it there for his goalkeeper. Swing it all the way across ready, the back ready, here. Ready, ready. Manzanelli lost possession in that last touch off of the body of Brandon Manzanelli. Hey, break, break, break. Come on. Come on, boy. Five minutes and change left here in the third period, up and over the top, looking for steel. Good collection, and now he's going to go back in the other direction. Hits the brakes, looking for an opportunity, goes right into the upper corner! Defending and offense there from Cam Steele. He put that right where the spider sleeps, that top corner. And another one there! They come in bunches. The loose ball off the save, and Jensen is on the spot. You start to see what goals can do to your team. The confidence, the jolts of energy. Now you see Crush starting to get up again and starting to have that energy that we saw in the first two periods. Free kick coming here. Still plenty of time with four and a half minutes to play on this running clock here in the third period. Trying to play quickly is Smoke. Moali just keeps it in. Goalkeeper is out and it's right back. Tayu there with a one-time finish. And it's just quick combination play in that penalty arc. I asked you about fitness earlier, Ricky. This is when it's going to come into play in these final minutes. Four minutes and change left here. A couple of quick strikes from Crush in orange. Smoke responds with their sixth of the night. I said Drift would be the X factor, but maybe in the wrong direction here in the third period. <laughs> I think fitness came into the play for them. Unable to get on the ball and really dictate tempo that we've seen. It's all just come through Alfaro, but if you're able to mark him, really have any solutions for any other problems. Crush retreating in front of their own goal. Loose ball in front, big save again from Perkinson. Reaction save there with the right paw. Not a bad effort. Now three and a half minutes. Here's Tayu, scored the last one for Smoke. Nice to play across the face of goal. Now Alfaro out in transition. And some contact, no whistle, but it should be a free kick for Drift here, and it will be. Well, they are going to give him a free kick. Once again, right before that, you have smoke in a defense position. Tayu elects not to shoot. I think it was a wrong decision. Tries to play it across. Uh, you just see how quickly Drift has a chance on Kenneth Perkinson's goal here. Alfaro's got a great left foot. He'll hit it, but Perkinson up to the task as he parries that one away. So Drift will have the free kick. Quickly back into play here for Drift. The double team comes, and that means that Crush will win it right back. Possession could be the best friend of Crush right now as they have eight. And their next closest opponent is Smoke with six. We start to see a bit of possession now for Crush. They know. Two and a half minutes, we're up by two goals, just keep the ball. But you have to be very smart in the way that you keep the ball. If you have a sloppy turnover just like this, it can go back into the back of your net. Ball pops loose here. Off the post. Back out in front. And the shot will come. Oh! How smart is that? Smart right there from Dominic Jensen. Second time here in the third. We've seen him stand close to an opponent's goal. Find, hey, look what I found right here. Yeah, that's the beauty of a mega ball. It doesn't need to be pretty. Don't need to hit it hard. Just get it over the line. Dominic Jensen scored about three or four goals just like that tonight. Remember, no offside, no throw-ins in Omega Ball. That's why the goals and action come fast and furious. Right back the other way. Out in front, and Alfaro has another. If I'm counting, I believe that is four on the night for him. That's fantastic for Drift. Floppy turnover. Out in front, Perkinson comes to close the angle. And Smoke will finish another one. Moali right there to slot it home after the turnover. Exactly what we talked about in the open, Mark. Third period, you're going to start to see those goals starting to flow. Players knowing, hey, 
Last period, desperation mode it on. We need to be clinical in front of the net. So the lead for Crush is back to just one. Drift trying to have a say otherwise as they find themselves in a deficit. Three behind Smoke and four behind Crush. Gomez venturing way out of his area and he scores that one in the back of the net. Ah, you see a little bit of strategy right there. there you go. Just so many different ways you can play this game. Perkinson lets this ball goes in, takes a couple precious seconds off the clock. Back for Orozco. The smoke goalie will send it through. Moali running it down and he runs out of space. Just to go back to that for a moment, that was Perkinson in goal for Crush, allowing Drift to score and get the goal. No reason to use some, some extra energy in that moment. Rising high for the ball was Cameron Steele. Uh, whistled for the contact there with goalkeeper Brian Orozco. White with a chance to restart here. Less than a minute remaining here. Can White find another one? Loose ball in the air. All the way out in front. And again, Perkinson able to push it away. And it'll be a restart here for Drift from the far side of the field. 30 seconds, 36 seconds, excuse me, remaining. Perkinson goes all the way across onto his back post and he'll smother it. Still not time to let your foot off the gas pedal, though, if you're Orange Crush. That should be a free kick for Crush. And now, if you're Smoke, you need to get yourself in around that goal. Get yourself into dangerous situations and see if you can cherry pick in these last couple seconds here. They need to find a way to get possession of it first. Head it away and head it out once again as we are down to just 15 seconds remaining. Drift quick to restart it again. Gomez will send it long. Headed inside the area and into the gloves of Perkinson. He'll wisely just fall on it inside of his own half circle and that should just about do it as he lets it fly high into the Southern California air and Crush have done it once again. They travel all the way out from South Carolina where they last crowned themselves champions of Omega Ball. And they come to Southern California and they'll be leaving as champions once again. You just see how much it means to them. Didn't take kindly to finishing second in their game. Got in by goal differential, but didn't ask questions. Knew we had a one-off game. We need to put our best foot forward. We won in South Carolina. We win here in LA. Fantastic stuff from Crush. I mean, I don't know that you could pick one particular aspect, Ricky of their game plan, of their strategy that got them to nine goals because we saw them do it so many different ways tonight. No, I think the, first, the one thing you have to point out is just the play of Dominic Jensen, how smart he was. That's how, true. How many cherry picking goals did he get, the vulture goals, just hanging around the end line, easy shot, I'll take, I'll take the last touch to get it over the line. And I think ultimately that was the difference of why Crush is the winner here tonight. Yeah, you know, I would say it probably started with Cam Steele in the, way, in the, in the beginning, exactly. a couple of his goals, but then all of a sudden you had Jason McCartney hop in there. You had some great finishes, as you just mentioned, from Dominic Jensen. Right place, right time, and of course some big saves back there from Kenneth Perkinson. Here's how it went in the third. Smoke certainly made a game of it. But you start to see Smoke, I think it was a, a little too little too late for Smoke. If they started like this in the period two, I think it would have had a lot more success. But you start to see the talent come out to fruition. Players getting in the final third, the competitive spirit that Kim brings to this game. Obviously, Smoke just didn't have that extra push to get him over the line and all credit to Crush, how smart of a game plan they had and executed to perfection. Yeah, you almost think it was just digging too deep of yeah. a hole for Smoke in this one. It took them into the second period before they finally got their first goal. And all of a sudden, Moali, uh, the, the, the Instagram social influencer who also has some game, by the way, put them right back into this contest. But this is when Crush flipped the switch right here. They started to, one goal can change things. Look, John, Dominic Jensen, a yard out, gets it moments later. He's just hanging around. You can just see, just hanging around that penalty mark, sticks it into the back of the net. And he was, for me, the X factor for Crush and why. This is the goal I'm talking about. How smart is that? Goalkeeper is out. You drift in behind. 
the goalkeeper and just wait for that shot before it can find the back of the net. You touch it home for your own team. Smoke did have a response a couple of minutes after that, but it was a little too, too, a little too much too late. Just took a bit too long to get into rhythm. The players that had the ability to change the point of attack, to change this game out of the drop of a hat, they woke up in period three. You need that in period two and three as you finish strong. But all the credit goes to Old Crush here tonight. Crush your winners. Nine goals to beat Drift with six and Smoke finishing up with eight. We go downstairs, that's Anthony Dittman, the brains and founder of Omega Ball. Uh, certainly your aggressive play it made all the difference in here. What else was, was uh, a factor for this one today? Uh, you know, I think I, I said it back in South Carolina. I think we're, we're just a unit. We're a team, and we know that everyone's got each other's back. And, it, you know, regardless of what happens during the game, we know that we're going to be there for each other. And I think, you know, that's what helps us pull through at the end. Um, just a belief in the, and a belief that's around us, and that's what keeps us going. Kenneth, you are super active in the, in the goal box, man. The, the goal arc, we'll call it here. How was it out there? Yeah, I mean, we, we always love to play. We always love to compete. We love to win. We, we did get the win yesterday, but we got a chance here, and we made it count, and I love these guys. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you out from the East Coast. See you, fellas, back home. Yeah, Here you go. Champs. the Omega Ball Cup as they are the winners here in Southern California and they have done it again. I tell you what, all you need is an opportunity, Ricky, right? They get through on goal differential yesterday even though they didn't win the match they wanted to, but they had the opportunity to play here in the Championship Cup Final of Omega Ball and they took advantage of it. It doesn't matter how you start, how you finish and in the championship match, how clinical can you be in front of your goal defensively and offensively? And I keep talking about it, how smart they were. They came out, guns blazing, were the one that really jolted the energy in period one and two, and then period three really sat back a bit more and started to find those poacher goals, that cherry picking goal. And all credit to them, they know how to play this game, they know how to win this game. Two trophies on the line, two victories for Orange Crush. Jamil Gracia, Chase Rohde, Dominic Jensen, No Puentes, Kenneth Perkinson, Jason McCartney, Cameron Steele. They just said it, they are a team, and that all adds up to your 2022 Omega Ball Cup winners here at Dignity Health Sports Park in Southern California. Don't forget, we've got the Women's Championship Omega Ball Cup Final coming up. UCLA, longtime standout. Tracy Bailey will join Ricky and I for that one to help break down all the women's action. Three more teams, ton more goals, and plenty of action coming your way here on Omega Ball's YouTube channel. Let's take a quick look back again at some of the highlights from this one as Crush got things started in the first, Ricky, and they never really looked back. They did look back. It was a, lot, a late crawl back by Smoke, but just didn't have enough in the tank. And to be fair, it was Smoke really asking all the questions, really on the front foot, putting the gas pedal down, turning their defense into offense. Cam Speed, Ken Steele, Dominic Jensen, McCartney getting involved. It was a whole team effort, but this is what we love about Omega Ball. It's always going to down to the last 10 seconds. 23 goals in this men's championship. You want goals, you want action, you want chaos on the pitch. You want players to express themselves and to enjoy doing it as well. And when you're scoring goals and you're having that combination play, you're enjoying it at the most. Now you can't understate it or overstate it enough, I should say, the way that these guys, we saw them way back in the beginning of 2022 out in South Carolina and told them, hey, you know, we hope to see you at the next one come later on this year to defend your title. And they were like, we're there. We're, we're coming out here. And boy, did they burst onto the scene as they uh, finish this one off. And they will take home a nice check. They'll take home some hardware. I bet you, Ricky, that makes the trip back to South Carolina a lot easier.